Hey everybody, hope all is well. Want to do two quick videos, then I plan on uh, getting back uh, to some of my emails because you guys have sent me quite a bit and wow, they are very, very interesting to say the least. So, just saw a video and it's of course the dynamic stupido duo, Danny Lee and the baby. And to me, it's just stupid. I couldn't watch the whole thing. But I notice how they're going back and forth. He's got his camera up on the IG complaining. They're both releasing these statements, saying the most horrible, inappropriate things to each other. When it gets to this point, someone needs to really leave because this is getting way out of hand. And so I also Googled her net worth. And it's like, girl, you're not sitting up uh, broke. You shouldn't be. Are you carrying your whole family? Because she might be the family superstar, but you should still have some money somewhere. And you can always call up a man that looks like this here, and they'll put up some cash. We, Yeah, despite all the drama, I promise you, somebody going to play Captain Save Him. So he was saying some horrible things. Um, they're obviously still having relations, sleeping in the same place. And then you see his brother has a camera, the assistant is there. And I thought, wow, you have a home here where basically... The brother is there with the camera. The assistant is there. Okay, are these folks going to stay here like all night long, 24-7? The baby was saying basically he wanted her to leave, you know, begging her to leave. Wanting her out, making it very clear, and she's not leaving. Now, in California, they don't recognize common law. Um, but I thought about it. There could be a bigger play here because you know why? And I hate to say it. Everybody knows they can play people, they can play black people. As long as you don't look like us, you got a good chance of playing, making a score, getting a bag out of us. And it's, I mean, it is what it is. They're not there because they're so charming. She is tolerating so much abuse. And you have to ask yourself, first of all, I would say to him as a friend, you have an assistant, what you need to do, honey, you need to come off your money and think like a businessman, not a business man, a businessman. You need to lawyer up. If I were him, I would put cameras all over that place and I would leave. It's his home. He doesn't want to leave. Then what you need to go ahead and do is draw some papers. I will let her know. And I would, if you want to record it, record it and say, hey, <clears throat> this isn't working out. So in this case here. I'm going to go ahead and, and it wouldn't be anything extravagant, but go ahead and pay for a year's lease to get her out. That's what I would do. Have your lawyer to draw it up. So, or it could be six or eight months. Uh-huh. I would pay for it and let her know you and the baby can go here. Because she's going to try to next, you know, I'm sure, pull the child support. And so you might can use that to say, okay, I have been a provider. Here's evidence of my lease. And it's furnished and I pay for her. It doesn't have to be all fancy, no penthouse. No, it doesn't. She got herself willingly into this position. Again, the black women done told you, but you thought you was a soldier. Now being humiliated, I mean, her mom and daddy, come pick up your daughter. So if I were him, if so, someone I knew, uh, I would get some papers showing up like right now. And I would just get her... Uh, a safe place, not fancy, and let her know you have the option to go here. Mm -hmm. If she declined that, I would get that done and, and you know, re record it if you want to. If she declined that, you know, what I probably do is go ahead and just move all the furniture out the place. Mm -hmm. And so, okay, I'm going to go ahead and stay here and take the furniture there. So I would do that. Then she might leave, but I know he doesn't want to abandon his home. So stop and think. Why is she still there taking all this abuse and taking all the humiliation? They even were, they were touching each other and he was saying that he has planted his seed in the wrong thing, calling her a thing. He's called her the B word. She's calling him the N word and they're fussing back and forth. Such a toxic environment. And then I thought about it. Is the brother and the assistant going to be there the entire time? This is so toxic. I don't think he understands. You're in a great position because you have a child for her. 
He's probably hoping Shorty gonna get tired of this and leave the insult, but she is still there. Ask yourself, what woman would stay there, especially if you got some money? Hell, I don't have her kind of money, and I'm not standing there talking to me like this. Oh no, you know, at this point, conversation is over. You are not going to degrade me and put me through this. I'm not even going to dignify your ignorant responses, your ignorant uh, statements with a response. I will not even acknowledge you because this is toxic. But stop and think she's still there. Yellow bone, red bone. She refused to leave and go to her mama's home. Is it embarrassment? No. When it gets like this, people, this chick, everybody knows how to, I hate to say, get over almost black men. Especially with their entertainers in the sports. It don't take much, okay? All you need to do is JBW. It's going to be all right. Just be non-black, close to, if not white, close to white. It's going to be all right. You, you can make it happen. So my point is, she's not leaving there. He wants her to leave. Uh, he seems to be holding down his temperament. But you and I both know it's a matter of time. I don't care if the brother is there and the assistant is there. They could leave. It's a matter of time. The longer they stand to occupy the same area, the same living quarters, the longer they stand to do that, it's a matter of time. It may be, may be the next 30 days, 60 days, the next two days, next two minutes. It's a matter of time. I think she's going to wear this down. And she may, he wants her out. He's expressed that. She's going to uh, probably wear him down. And I'm thinking he's so far calm and collected. He has a support system. But what if the assistant, brother, or one of them go out? These two, the communication is very toxic. Okay, what if they're in the bedroom together? I think it's going to be a matter of time. He wants her out. He's keeping his temperament, just saying some slick nonsense. Very insulting. More than likely, she may have a plan to wear him down and keep at it. That's why she won't leave. All it takes, all it takes is one good push or one good shove. That's all it takes. And she could be waiting around, waiting for that to happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wouldn't put a pastor. They're not with this because these men are charming. They after that bag and you've humiliated her. She might call herself, I'm going to leave and get mine. I'm going I'm to get mine. So, so far, he's holding it down, asking her to leave, and she won't leave. And they're going back and forth, going back and forth. We all know that can easily, it can easily escalate. And I'm thinking, again, I, this is just my commentary, my opinion, a possibility. Again, I'm thinking, why she's still there as a woman? And I thought about it. All it takes is that, it just takes that one special time. It could be this weekend, next weekend. It could be three or four months. And she's not leaving. Sweetie, don't fool yourself. You and your recording. What if they're sleeping the night? Okay. It, are those people going to be in the bedroom with them? Are they? So what if they're sleeping the night? The, the brother stands someplace else and the assistant might, may have gone home. Are they all going to be following them 24-7? And it seems to me he's trying to make it uncomfortable on purpose for her to leave. Again, most women would, women would leave, but she's not leaving. And I thought about it. That could be her plan. He's going, thinking he might wear it down in his calmness at some point. And when he does wear it down, when he, he already said that she's been punching him, right? He already said that he, he's uh, made a statement that she's put her hands on him and that he's run around the apartment. So I'm thinking maybe that's why he had his brother and the assistant there. It only takes that one time, I think, that she could wear him down and then she might push up on him, especially in the bedroom, it's only two of them there. She might push up on him and then all that aggression is, gee, I want her out of here. I want her to get up out of here. Miss of missive preference, by the way. Don't forget. They don't have an attitude. They're very submissive. They know their place. They're ladylike. Mm -hmm. So I thought about it. Why was she not? I said, this girl might have a plan. Mm -hmm. May have. I'm not leaving. Just hoping he pushed her one time. Or he might get frustrated that she's not leaving. He's staying cool for now. Then he might just lose it and pop off on her. Boop! 
he done popped the girl. He done shoved the girl. Call the police. She got some marks on her. Press charges. Press charges. Go to the hospital. Oh, I'm going to go to see a psychiatrist because I've taken all this abuse because I loved him. And I stayed. hoping it was going to work out. And then it was this one I can't take anymore. Sounds like damages. Civil lawsuit. Hell, how do you know that could happen like that? And this chick may run, come back to the home, and then let's say he goes somewhere, they serve him with a TRO that he cannot come back into his house. It, uh, a friend of mine, it happened to their relative. Now, I will say that they were married, so I don't know how it worked. But yeah, the woman had no place else to go. And I hate to say it, it turned out she was lying. The son told the truth. Before many, that's what she did. Lied and said her husband did this here. The son said she was doing some housework, and I guess she called somebody to come over. No, no, no. She was doing some housework, and then he said all of a sudden she just stopped the housework and she fell down. And she, he saw his mother hit her head on the floor and just lay down. And guess what she had already done? Look up. She started screaming. The police were at the door. So the son planned. She didn't want the husband anymore. She had immigrated here to the country. She didn't want him no more. Mm-hmm. And had him not been able to come back to his own house. They were married. She had no place else to go. So this right here, the going back and forth is very toxic. She's burying it all. Ask yourself why. No woman with any self-worth. You, you're going to go find somewhere to go. But she could have a plan. It just takes that one moment for him to get out of pocket. And if you keep that up antagonizing, it's a matter of time. Boom! It's a matter of time. It's going to escalate. It's just a matter of time. All this yelling back and forth. And the second scenario is she could stay there and then hoping it goes back and forth. And then it could be in the wee hours of the morning, the two of them missed in the room. What if this girl would have just started screaming and ripping her clothes? She could even hit her own head. Hit her own head on the wall and say he did it is that going any cameras in the bedroom any cameras in the bedroom your word against her uh oh a dv case it, my head i don't know i was just sleeping i was okay and you know i just got up and you know he kind of shoved me and i said something and he just got up and he just grabbed me and just threw my head against the wall and she could do it herself and then call the police and then press charges. Mm -hmm. Any cameras in the bedroom? What you gonna do then? Your word versus hers. All oh, this is played out on the IG. Why didn't she leave? She, she's made it clear that she doesn't have a place in LA anymore. But you have a mom and a dad and some relatives. You can't go stay with them. I'm telling you. This girl right here. Danny Lee might be pulling a, I ain't leaving until you pay me. He doesn't understand. He thinks it's under wraps with all these cameras. Sweetie, are you going to record yourself 24-7? And it's not over. Again, just stop and think. They have a child together. He's with that child. What the child has a mark. Let's say they go their separate ways and he keeps the child. Oh, my child been abused. <clears throat> a lot of black people... I don't think we seem to understand. Now, we can think the worst of each other, but people, will, will, man, will, when other people really have it against you, they can become very diabolical. Very diabolical. They could have someone, and he has some money, some wealth. They could have someone to abuse that child and then say he did it. And I, my child was fine before, and I came back, and then there you go. So I don't understand the baby. He made a comment that, you know, he deposit his seed into the wrong thing she giving you a hell of a run ain't she did the sisters do this to you did the sisters do it to you huh i thought black women had attitudes we got attitude we hard to deal with you begging your preference to leave and a chick still won't leave boo boo honey listen up she may have a plan for you Stuff is by design. She may have a plan for you. Let that place, burn, let him go to Mars. And let the whole building burn down. Do you think she's going to be living in her car? She's going to find somewhere to go. 
So I just want to share this with you. He doesn't understand. He's in a very dangerous situation. He really is. He's staying calm now, making these comments, hoping she leaves. She might be staring there. Women can be a little bit more calculating than men, especially, I'm sorry to say, these right here. A lot more calculating than you think. So this right here, she's in danger zone. No, chocolate drop, the baby. He's in a danger zone. We're going to see how it plays out, but I'm telling you, if that building were to burn down and he's in Mars, do you, you think she's going to be outside on the patio and sleeping outside on the sidewalk? I think a girl is staying for a reason and she may have a plan. So anyway, let me know your comments and your thoughts. But he's in a very dangerous situation. Very dangerous situation. Everybody knows this right here is an easy come up. You've embarrassed her. Don't think she's going to walk away empty handed. I'm telling you, she may have a plan to catch him at the right moment. And if that doesn't happen, the two of them in the bedroom, no, no cameras. She can start ripping her clothes off, bang her head against the wall and say he did it and he pushed me. And then what? Anyway, I look forward to your comments and your thoughts. Feel free to like and share, subscribe and uh, have a good day and stay safe.